Okay, so I wanted to go over, um, we are going to be doing a lot of power hours coming up in the next um, couple weeks, especially leading up into green carpet, and a lot of the power hours are going to be geared toward messaging people. Um, we, our goal is to basically go through our friends list before green carpet happens. Um, we got a couple, you know, what are we in August, September? Oh my gosh, we have like a month and a half, basically. But um, to just, you know, m I have almost 5,000 um, friends on my Facebook page. So that means a lot of people to go through, you know, consider Instagram and Facebook. You can't print out like your followers on Instagram, but you can print out your Facebook friends, which makes it 10 times easier because you can literally highlight and keep track of like who you've talked to. So our goal is to have everybody on our sheets highlighted in some way, shape or form. We're going to be talking to everybody on our Facebook page. This also gives us a really good opportunity to be able to um, delete people from our Facebook page. Maybe that shouldn't be on our page anymore. Maybe, um, for me, if they don't add value to my business, I'm going to delete them to make more room for other people. Um, I have started deleting other distributors just because I've hit that 5,000 friends list. Um, and I do actually still um, have friends of people who are like top income earners so that I can always learn to who to as aspire to. So you can be friends with somebody or you can unfriend somebody but still follow them too. So keep that in mind. But I'm going to actually show you guys and I want to show you guys if you have your computer out, which I really hope you do do this with me so that you know how to do it too. I'm going to put like the, um, the step-by-step -step in the, the, um, chat over here, but it's going to be super uh, beneficial if you just do it right now with me. Um, so one second, let me pull the other part. Does anybody have questions or anything like that before we get started? Um, we're just going to be doing Facebook side. We're not doing anything for Instagram because you can't pull out like your Facebook um, followers or your Instagram followers or anything like that. Um, but, okay, I think that was everything in there. I'm going to share my screen and let's literally do this together. So you're going to go, no, not leapfrog, that is my son's stuff. <laughs> you're going to go into your Facebook account. Um, and this is literally step by step. Um, Kelsey gave it to us. And if we're all on the same page, this makes it a lot easier too. So I would share this with your teams too. So you can't do this from your phone. It has to be from your computer. It is a little bit tricky um, the first time you do it, but then you'll get used to doing it. So, okay, you go to your settings. Um, so over here on the right hand side, um, go to settings. Then we're going to go to um, your Facebook information. So over on the left hand side over here, let's see my clicker. Then you're going to go to, um, number two lines down, there'll be a download information. So right here, you're going to click, um, view. Then you're going to do what's called start my archive. So what this is going to do is it's going to take all of your Facebook friends list and literally put them all into one long list. Um, so like I said, I'm literally doing this with you. <laughs> so click friends down. Let's see, deselect all of them. I just want the friends and I'm going to create the cop, the file. Okay, so a copy of your information is being created. Um, so your copy may contain more, more than one file, depending on how much information you requested. It can't, contains, we'll let you know when your copy is complete so you can download it um, to, be to your preferred device. You can cancel this process before your file is complete. So within a day or two, you can go back in here because like for me, I have 5,000 friends, so it takes a lot longer. Um, but for you, depending on how many friends you have, it could, if you, you know, have a thousand friends, it won't take as long. But what I want you to do is I want you to write down, like if you have your calendar out, um, go to your Facebook page. I'm going to go to mine too and let's find it out together. Um, go to your Facebook page and write down the number of friends that you have right now. Um, the reason for that is I, I'm always going to use the, the scenario that Kelsey said, cause it always like stuck in my mind, which is 
if you were to go fishing in a pond, would you rather go fishing in a pond of 500 fish or 5,000 fish? You know, what is the likeliness of you catching a fish um, in the 500 fish compared to the 5,000? You're much more likely if you have the 5,000 in your pond. So for us, kind of look at that with your friends on your Facebook. You know, make sure that you're adding quality friends. Um, oh, wow. Look, it looks like it's already ready to download. That is crazy. I've never taken that like that short amount of time, so I'm going back. Um, actually, I don't want to forget to write down my number. Um, but so your goal and our goal is to have 5,000 friends total on your Facebook page. So right now, if you scroll down on your page. I have 4,923. So I'm going to my, my today's date in my calendar, which is Thursday the 8th, um, August 8th. I'm going to write friends, Facebook, 4,923. And so if, you're, if your Facebook friends is like in the thousand, hundred, 2000s, you really got to bring up that Facebook um, Facebook friends number so that basically the more friends you have on your Facebook page, the more possibilities people are going to see your stuff. The more you're interacting with people on your Facebook page, the more your algorithm is going to be higher, which Facebook will then allow more people to see your stuff. So um, learn how to grow your market and grow your market the right way, which is going to be quality people, you know, things that you have in common with other people. Like for me, I'm always adding like other moms because I have a child. So I have that in common with them. Um, I'm a single mom. So I add a lot of single moms. You know, I specifically find certain people to add to my network so that I know we have something, some similarity. So like for me, like I don't want to be around negative people. I don't want to be around people like flicking off cameras and stuff like that. So if you're doing that in your, in your profile picture, I'm like delete block because I at first was kind of afraid of like who I was adding on my social media page, but now I'm just like, you know, I feel like God is giving us people that need this opportunity and who am I to say, you know, maybe I shouldn't add this person or whatnot, but, um, but I am a huge fan of the unfriend and block button too, because you never know. Um, and then I'm always very careful of like what I post on my Facebook page, um, or my Instagram. So like if, if you see me, I, if I'm at, let's say, um, the water park here nearby, or I'm talking about being at the park, nine times out of 10, I'm not actually at the park that moment. Um, I wait a couple hours or even the next day to post about it because I don't want people knowing where I'm at all the time, especially like with me and my son. So I'm just careful. I have a public page. I think it's very important as well to have. Um, a really, really um, important thing to look at. So look, I posted last night about me rapping. In the, in the comments, I posted a whole bunch of pictures of before and afters, um, which I found on, on um, Pinterest. And two people are interested, which I'm talking to now about the wraps. And I, it was because I talked about me and I, all I put was slap the skinny wrap on, wrap on my hips and my tummy tonight to help tighten tone and firm while I'm sleeping, dare you to peek below. And then I had everybody else's results. Um, but when I did this, it's very important for your, if your page isn't public, which I recommend doing that, but if it's not public, at least make sure your, your, um, or posts that are geared toward, you know, our business is public. So the way to know that is right here, this little globe um, on your post. If it has a little globe, that means it's public. If it has two little people, that means it's only going to be posting to your friends. So why that's important is because the more um, opportunity you have to share it with other people publicly, more people are going to see it, the more opportunity people are going to be interested. Um, now, for example, if you have, this is just literally an example, if you have 800 friends on your Facebook, right, and you have it just geared toward your friends, so your settings is set to where it's just posting to your friends, it's a very, very, very small chance that your friends are actually going to be even seeing that post because the because of the Facebook algorithm, um, I think it was somewhere like only 5% of your Facebook page is actually seeing your post. So if you have 800 friends, 10% of that is 80 and then 5% of that is 40. So only about 40 people are actually seeing the post and then the chances of them actually doing something on it. So like liking it, commenting on it, anything like that is, um, you know, depending on them, but it's going to be much smaller than having 5,000 friends which then is 500 people seeing it, which is then 250 people rather than 40 people if you have 500 friends or 250 people if you have 5,000 friends. And them commenting and stuff like that is much higher because you have more people seeing it. Um, I hope I didn't talk too fast on that one, but that was my math in my head going. Um, 
So getting that Facebook friends list up to 5,000 5, is super important and growing to your network every single day because if you don't grow to your network, there's going to be a point in your business where you tap out of your entire friends list or your entire, we call it um, warm market of, you know, talking to people. And then you're like, now what? Like I have to start over. But if you're continually adding new people to your network every single day, you know, give yourself a goal. If it's just 10 people, then that's your goal. If it's 50 people, then that's your goal. You know, you decide what your goal is. You know what you're capable of doing and what's too much for, to overwhelm yourself. Um, but your goal is that 5,000. But by coming on here and um, now that you have your number written down, so my number was 4,923. I wrote it on my calendar on today's date. Like I want to be at 5,000. And so um, let's go back to how we now went to get our Facebook friends list. So if you missed it, it's, you go to your settings over here. Um, then you go into one more time because I was very surprised that mine showed up right away. Go to on the left hand side, your Facebook information, then go to download information. And then, um, you're going to, and what I was saying was that we're actually going to be doing a lot of power hours here soon um, for the rest of the month and leading up in the green carpet. So um, we're going to be using these lists a lot, your friends list. So might as well come the ball with it. Um, okay, so go over here, make sure you deselect everything, then click friends. Um, I'm literally doing this for the first time with you guys, so I hope it works. But you click file, and then um, the, the larger amount of friends you have, the longer it's going to take for it to actually um, download everything. But what ends up happening, because mine already said it was ready, which I'm super excited about this, is, let's see, it says uh, your friends list from, oh my gosh, 2008. One of my, I got my Facebook. To August 8th, 2019, friends requested uh, at 1050. Yep, this is the correct one. So what we want to do, here's the file. And then what we're going to do is we're going to download it. Um, it's going to ask for my password. Re oh no. Hold on. I remember I re... Hold on guys. I don't want to put in the wrong one. <laughs> um, okay. Let's do. So, yep. Okay. So down here at the bottom, it's starting to see right here it's starting to actually make it into like a zip file. So what's going to happen, I hope it'll do all of it before. Um, I like to click this and then show in folder. Um, the reason for that is because sometimes, and like an, a Mac might be a little bit different than this, but sometimes like if I do it like that and it'll automatically upload, sometimes I lose it somewhere in my computer and I can't find it. <laughs> so um, this rate, let's see. Um, is that one it? No. It's gotta be, what is today? The 10th. It's highlighted, but. Looks like it. Okay. So. What we're going to do is click friends. Um, you are not great. I've done so much stuff on Word recently. Fingers crossed. Like I said, I'm doing this with you guys for the first time in a very long time. And everything's changed actually recently, but I'm hoping this is going to help and encourage you guys to do the same so that we can all have our Facebook friends list um, printed out and we can just highlight everything together. So um, what we were 
talking about with um, other readers is pull out four highlighters and have these specific four colors because then we'll all kind of be on the same page. So um, orange, pink, green, and blue. Um, and then your key for them is going to be orange is going to be an already loyal, pink is going to be already distributor, green is going to be unfriended, and blue is going to be for messaged. Um, so write those down. I'll put them in the chat also so you remember. Okay, so this is everybody in your friend list. Now the really cool thing about this is it will give you the date that you actually became friends with them. That is a really, really, really cool thing to have because sometimes you can actually message people and be like, we've been friends since, you know, August 14th, 2000. I know you've been watching me like and my journey. You know, we've talked before, why haven't you joined yet? What's holding you back? You know, use that date as an advantage for you. Um, I'm gonna do, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a Word document. So then I can categorize them out into different categories. Um, but you can literally just copy paste over to, it's going to take forever. But um, I wonder if I can just select all. Let's see if this works. Copy. Or actually, in Excel. Let's do that. Um, Cool. Okay. So um, I'm going to delete all these up here. We don't need these. Don't need these. Don't need these. Let's just delete all. Um, and then, if I remember correctly, oh gosh. Take me back to my high school days. There is a way to select every other. Anybody know that who's on here? Um, to select every other one, and then we can like take it out and we can put it into like another, um, another. There's a way. So maybe if I can figure it out, um, I will do another video. But there's a way that you can select them to where like you'll automatically just select every other, and then you can literally do uh, I mean, you can go through every single one but let's do just this but, okay. and so then it would look like that if you wanted or just print it out like this but um what i would recommend is when you're printing it though to make sure it has front and back of the papers because it's going to be a lot of papers especially if you have a lot of thumbs but this is going to be really nice for us because then we can go in here and know where we're going to start you know if we pull out a sheet that's your that's your goal for the whole day it's just to message those people whether it's just sending out some good vibes to them whether it's you know asking um, following up with them maybe it's just posting something on their wall um there all these these um power hours we're going to be doing is going to have something different geared toward them but we're really going to be focusing just going through the people who we already have on our facebook friends list and really following up with people who we've already talked to and then growing to our market too to really reach that 5,000 friends and as we go through be able to kind of um wean, wean out those people who really we shouldn't be friends with anymore on our facebook page to make more room for other people who would um benefit our businesses because at the end of the day we all want to make money we all want to be successful in this business and this is going to help a lot with that so hope this helps hope you guys do it too i'd love for you guys to send me a picture of it um uh when you have it printed out i'm going to finish doing mine here um tonight and see if i can organize it a little bit better and um get everybody up to speed but yeah hope you guys like that <laughs> i'm gonna bring me back on the screen there we go. <laughs> Okay, did you guys get that? I can only see Charlie's face, but you're good. <laughs> I hope that helped, but, um, okay, so colors one more time, just so I make sure. Um, just so I make sure you have them. So orange, pink, green, and blue. Orange being they're already a loyal customer. 
pink being they're already a distributor, green being you unfriended them, and blue is messaged, like you messaged them. You started a conversation, you've planted a seed with them, you've started a relationship with them. Um, but our goal is to basically have a sheet with all of them highlighted. Something has happened to every single person on our Facebook friends list. And a really, like a side note to all this is it's gonna be really important to be interacting on your social media page um, through like their stories, through, um, you know, commenting on people's posts with questions. It's really, really important for that because every time you do that, it boosts up your algorithm and then more people are going to be seeing your, your posts. And when you're going and like starting these relationships and planting seeds with people and just getting to know people on your Facebook page, what, the, what they're going to be doing is they're going to go look on your page. And if, um, if you have started to like build up that Facebook algorithm, it'll start to show up on their page more as well. So keep that in mind. I like to do 10 minutes before I go to bed. Um, I set two things I do. I set my timer. Well, actually I get all my posts ready for the next day. Um, they are ready to go in my notes of my phone. What I'm going to say it's already print are like typed out pictures are already chosen. Um, and I get all my, my posts ready for like my story, my pictures, everything's good to go. I set my timer for 10 minutes and I clean my house and clean my desk. So when I wake up in the morning, it's literally just like clean, fresh day, fresh start. And then I spend 10 minutes interacting on my stories before I go to bed with every with questions, always, always questions. Um, so if it's a picture of a dog, I'm like, oh my gosh, your dog is so cute. I have a dog too. My dog's named Dash. What's your dog's name? How long have you had the dog? You know, some genuine questions for them. And then I spend some time with God before I go to bed. But I um, hope this helped you guys share with your teams. Um, just spread the word to really print out your Facebook friends list so that we can get more people to be on board with everything. But these next couple months are going to be so incredible and being able to just um, get ourselves out of our comfort zones and really build our businesses. It's going to be really, really fun. So bye guys. <laughs>